Hi everyone. Uh, today I am doing a bit of a cooking in progress video. Uh, as I've mentioned a few times in my surf reports, I wish I had some musubi, but I don't every time. And uh, I think the local Japanese market only sells onigiri and no musubi. So here I am taking matters into my own hands. Uh, I have this like spam cutter which is useful when I'm trying to make musubi and I just pop the spam here lay it down like this and then the string's gotten a little loose over the years but hopefully it works and I just put it down oh no it's broke uh, I used this for quite a long time so near the end of its lifespan I think Anyway, yay! There we go. Uh, neatly cut spam uh, into however many portions. I'm not that good at counting. Now, uh, the reason why there's so much background noise is that because there is my air fryer. It's already fired up. And so let's move this spam. I'm not sure if this is going to be on camera, but apologies. And I could do this on the frying pan, but I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm doing it on my air fryer. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a grilling, but not too much, because from my experience, when you do it a little too much, it tends to make the spam a little bit too dry for my liking. So, uh, clean up as we go along. And now, let's, while the spam is cooking, let us prepare some side ingredients, like rice. I'm super shy, super shy. Not sure how usable this video will be because um, there's a lot of background noise, but hopefully you'll, you're all able to hear what I'm saying. Okay, that is ready now, and now let's use this bowl to prepare some rice. Let's go to our trusty rice cooker. I'm not sure how many I'll be able to make but uh, I don't have too strong of an appetite in the morning so maybe I'll make like two. We'll find out if this is enough for two and uh, the rest I will probably make it into the rice silicone thing that I have to store my rice. Okay, so now uh, usually I don't really season my rice when I do musubi, but because this is a video, uh, let's go a little bit special on this. So let's put the camera here again and then got some uh, furikake. And uh, this one is a little light on the seaweed, so I'm gonna use um, another type of furikake that's a little heavier on the seaweed side. Now, uh, musubi itself is already a little bit greasy, so I'm not gonna put a lot of sesame oil, but a pinch of salt and uh, just a little bit of sesame oil. Again, uh, it's already a pretty greasy kind of a food and savory kind of a food. Don't, don't want to make it go overboard with that. Uh, give the rice a good mix. And then I can show you my second apparatus that I have for making musubi. Oh, you know what's also good? Uh, 
if I fry some eggs, which I totally could do right now. So let's just, let's go to the range and let's just heat up this pan. You can see uh, my kitchen's not too well maintained because I'm the cook. I get to do whatever I want and uh, I'll be right back with some seaweed or nori or uh, curry, the ones Koreans call kim. That's enough. And now we have the seaweed kim, Japanese nori, but uh, we're Korean in this household, so we use the Korean term. Okay, so now I could also use some teriyaki seasoning, but I think all the teriyaki seasoning I have at home are very much expired so I won't do the teriyaki seasoning and I want the eggs to be a kind of a omelette texture, so I'm gonna break it beforehand. Oops. And uh, give it a quick season with salt. my spatula if I can find it. Oh there it is. Okay the let's check on the air fryer. Ooh sizzling you can hear the sound right? Okay that's good enough for me. And here's our medium heat pan. I think it could use a dash more oil. So hopefully I can open this with one hand my oil container. Ah, uh, I cooked some donuts. Please, just a bit of oil. Oh yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, uh, got some little bit of oil. Now, ready to do some cooking here. Put it in. Well, Totally forgot the purpose of uh, pre doing the egg because I was supposed to beat it first, but then I'm on camera, so I kind of forgot. Uh, pan's not hot enough, which is why it's sticking a little bit. So don't do that, uh, especially if you're using hex clad. Make sure your pan is nice and hot. You can usually test it with uh, dropping some bits of water and making sure it glides through like a fool. I have not done that today, but it's okay because I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I don't get paid for my food and uh, most importantly, I'm the one who's eating this. So I have no one else to blame but me. Okay, so while that's setting, just gonna turn off the heat and uh, just give it a bit of a flipsy. That looks absolutely not great, but it's okay, again, because why? I'm the one who's eating it. Now, let's go to our chopping board and bring our second apparatus for creating musubi, which is this thing. All right, so again, I'm gonna set the camera here for a little bit. And I just put the rice in. 
into the mold. And then, hey baby, careful, my dog. I put the, the egg in on top of this. Oh, it's gonna be a little hot for my liking, but okay. We have that. And with this, we give it a quick squeeze. And now when you look, hey, it's flat in the shape of a musubi. Put a rice cake on uh, the seaweed paper on top. And bring our span. And we put it on top. Now, if I were a good cook, which I am far from, uh, I would have prepared some saran wrap below, which would have made my wrapping process a lot easier. But uh, here's the finished product. As you can see, rice, uh, some egg, and uh, seaweed, and spam. Uh, if you had that long and wide seaweed wrap, you can wrap it around like a proper one, like the Hawaiian style. But I'm under-resourced right now and I'm feeling pretty lazy. So this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast tomorrow after surfing. So I'll see you in the next surfing report video. Okay, bye.